When can you drive or when can you not drive after a shoulder injury? I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist. I help athletes and active people like you feel and perform your best regardless of age or injuries. Now, if you suffer a shoulder injury, maybe you have a shoulder surgery, and really this applies to elbow, wrist, and hand injuries to a certain extent too, you want to go back to work, you want to go to school, you want to do your normal activities. And part of that involves driving to get there, because you don't want to depend on family or friends to drive you all around, but is it safe to do so? Now, as I always say in these types of videos, talk to your doctor about your specific injury because there can be some variation in what you're allowed to do. But here are some rules of thumb about, say, shoulder injury where your arm is in a sling. Now, if your shoulder is in a sling just for comfort, maybe it's right after a shoulder dislocation and you wear the sling just when you're walking around, or you know, shoulder separation, an AC injury, or something like collarbone injury maybe where you are allowed to take it off for a few minutes, your doctor might let you drive. If you're in a sling after a surgery and you have to wear it all the time, or it's after an injury, you have to wear the sling all the time, most doctors, most orthopedic surgeons aren't gonna let you drive. And that's because it's generally not safe to drive one-handed. Now, I completely get it. I drive one-handed sometimes where I'm you know, reaching to change the you know, stereo and the music that's playing in the car or grab you know, my bottle of water to drink a little bit, but it's just a little bit and I know I can get the other hand up there quickly if I need to swerve. If your arm is stuck down by your side, you only have one hand, it's really difficult to swerve the car suddenly to avoid an accident. Again, there's different rules about this and there's some laws in certain states, but talk to your doctor specifically about what you're allowed to do. If it's elbow, if it's wrist, it's hand, or it's hand and you're in a cast or you're in a splint or brace, again, the same types of things apply. You have to be able to control the car, you know, should the small chance of you needing to swerve it suddenly to avoid an accident arise, so you need to do it safely. Talk to your doctor about your specific injury and whether or not you're allowed to drive. But those are some general thoughts about when it might be safe to do it. If this video was helpful, click the video below for much more helpful information about injuries, health, and wellness. Subscribe to my video channel for all kinds of information and the latest videos sent directly to you. And I look forward to seeing you right here next time.